afternoon guys or morning or evening whatever time you're watching it what's up guys i'm mo the bearded shark and thank you so much for coming and checking out another one of my videos today in the shark's cage we have fetty says fetty says is back with another oil blend and scent profile when i say oil blend and scent profiles because with fetty says you do get a new scent profile and a new carrier oil blend with each product that he drops so you know if he's got six oils out seven oils out five oils out each one of them is going to have a different scent profile and it's going to have a different carrier oil blend anyways guys today we're going to be talking about fetty says his new blend this is the white apple bourbon this one is going to be white chocolate and then apple bourbon now sounds good don't it now the ingredients that you're going to find in here is going to be different than when you find in the other oils that he has this is going to be baobab oil cactus oil aloe vera oil passion fruit oil i believe this is my first time ever trying anything that has passion fruit oil in it or maybe even cactus oil i'm not 100 percent sure about the cactus but I am 100% sure about the passion fruit. Again, the scent profile is going to be white chocolate and then apple bourbon. With this, when you first get it out of bottle, you're going to get that apple scent right off the bat. And then you kind of get like a little bit of like a bourbon scent in bottle. But it's not strong at all. So this is like a subtle scent. When you warm this up, I have it in beard right now. So I don't have to get it out and actually warm it up. But I will. I'll just, you know what? You know what stop yelling at me i'll get it out and i'll warm it up for y'all okay so you guys can see the oil's pretty much clear it does have a slight yellow tint to it but not bad thickness you guys can see it is a thick oil um medium weight thickness but the cool thing about this it kind of like feels like um, a lightweight oil in beard it does absorb quickly like a lightweight oil that's what i meant by earlier when i said it kind of works like a lightweight oil um, but obviously you guys saw it's a straight up 100% a medium viscosity oil. Look, you guys just made me mess up my beard. But once the scent is warmed up, you guys get that apple up front. Now, I don't get a bourbon scent out of bottle. So when it's warm, that bourbon scent just kind of like goes away. Then so you don't get like no alcoholish vibe out of it whatsoever. You do get the sweetness from the white chocolate. I kind of like get a little bit of like a vanilla scent in there. But the apple... It's not like a fresh apple that you pick out of the tree. It's not like a candied apple. Um, it kind of smells like an apple juice apple. And I don't mean that in a bad way. This is, you know, different than like a fresh picked apple. And it's different than a candy apple. So kind of, kind of reminds me of like an apple juice scent. But it's not strong and it's not bad. I, didn't, I don't, when I say that, I don't say it in a bad way. It's really actually, it's really good. Um, the white chocolate... When I say chocolate, like white chocolate, you guys know that white chocolate is a lot lighter um, than the regular chocolate, like dark chocolate or milk chocolate. Um, so you're going to get the chocolate sweetness, but it's more on the like sweeter side than you would on the chocolatey side. So I guess that's where I kind of get that vanilla vibe from. But overall, this scent is subtle, so it's not overpowering. It's not over strong, but it is something like with somebody... Uh, smells in your beard they're gonna be like oh what's that you know I kind of get that like cologne vibe out of it too so maybe that's where the white chocolate and the bourbon apple mixed together makes but definitely no alcoholic beverage whatsoever sent out of this or smell so you don't have to worry about that for the people that don't like uh, the alcohol scents you have nothing to worry about with this one as most of you guys know already Fetty says does have two ounce beard oils so with that you guys are going to get 25 dollars worth of beard oil in this two ounce that you know if you break that down um that's pretty much market average per one ounce it's going to last a quite a while like you know i've used this quite a while but you can see that it's still full now when i got it it was full to the rim so he fills his bottles up and you know some people can go through a two ounce oil in like two weeks or three weeks and i'm just like i don't know how you guys do it uh, me, I don't use much oil at all. Few drops and that's it. Even with my beard longer, I never went more than eight to nine drops. So I don't use much oil. I don't have to have like 
dropper after dropper. So oils last me a long time. So for the people that have big beards and they use a lot of oil, you know, it's a blessing for you guys to be able to go through a two ounce whopping oil. For me, for someone that has a beard like mine or even longer, I'm not a big two ounce oil fan because, you know, sometimes the products will go bad before I finish them. Now, luckily with Fetty, none of my oils went bad with his. I do know that the first oil that I got from Fetty is older than a year and it still smells and works just as good as the first day that I opened it up. Boom, guys, there you go. There you have it. You have Fetty's new blend and new scent white apple bourbon y'all check it out 25 dollars. it does come in a butter and a balm and i think you may be able to get it in the washing conditioner too i only have it in the oil guys if you guys want to save some dough when you're buying from fetty says you can use code shark 15 it does save you 15 percent off i do not get a kickback whatsoever from that that's just a discount for you guys so you can use it and you can check out the website there's other scent profiles and oil blends that you can pick out uh, peach musk is a good one gentleman essence um, and obviously this one right here white apple bourbon is a really good one i think this is a scent that you can wear year round it's not too strong and it lasts about a five six hours in beard as far as scent wise so i'll check out his website and make sure you follow him on instagram i know that he's got a, a discount going on right now i'm not really 100 percent sure what it is from the top of my head but i will find it and i will post it in the description below so you guys can save even more money. All right, guys, y'all make something good out of this week. And as always, stay bearded. Duh.